Hey everyone, welcome back. So you're usually used to seeing me make a video with my Revel Barista Express, but I am out of town this weekend, so I thought I would show you guys a different setup, one that my brother has. And so I'm gonna have him kind of walk through the setup, what he's got going on, and then make a drink for you. So with that, maybe uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, what you have going on here. So talk about, uh, about the machine a little bit. Hi YouTube land, welcome to my house. This is my Belongi Dedica. I've made a few modifications from, as you can see, uh, usually it comes with a different one. This is a, I think it's called Sylvia. It's from the Sylvia machine, yeah. Sylvia machine. And then you'll see here in a second, the basket I use is non-pressurized. So you switch the one from a Panarillo, the, the, the plastic one. Well, the that... plastic one to this thing, which I like. And then uh, basically right now, the drink we're gonna make is gonna be an Americano, which is essentially a shot of espresso and then hot water. Uh, I've got my electric water kettle here, which I've already started heating up. We'll be using basically the um, scale to measure the amount of grounds. I do have a, uh, a grinder. A burr grinder, grinder. couldn't think of the word. Burr grinder on here, which I use to actually grind it up and then tamp it, make it ready, stick it in the machine and just hit go. What's the dose that we're gonna use today? Uh, 18 grams. Nice, so are we, uh, you gonna use that coffee over there? And maybe turn that off because yes. it's a little loud. Yes, yes, so absolutely. So this I get at Aldi's, which are, I like it, I like the taste. Organic beans from Honduras. Uh, it's a medium on a roast. So I grind this up and it's, nice. it's good to taste. So also, by the way, I'm seeing one other thing. Maybe talk about your uh, oh the tamper and the the palm distributor. Yep. Yes, we, I use these. I I really like this one. It's nice and heavy or yeah, it's good heft. And then I use a funnel, which makes things so much easier, especially for it eliminates having cleanup. And then this hamper is uh, pressed. It's already pressurized to so 30 pounds or whatever. So it's calibrated. Calibrated. Pounds. That's the word. Yes. So I it's. Basically, you just push it all the way, and then you know you've always been a consistent tamp. And I got this one, and I think the palm distributor at Amazon. This one was like ten or fifteen, but maybe a little bit more. But and this 30. didn't come with it. You bought no, this too, right? No, I bought this too, and I think this I got at eBay. But yeah, you just got to make sure that the funnel matches the size of the um, what is this thing called? Basket. The basket. Yes. This is a fifty-one mil. If once you do some research. 51 millimeter, just to make sure that it's not too big or so too small. So this is 51 millimeters. The Revel Barista Express, the one that I have, I think that's 54, but the standard, the commercial yes. size is 58. Yep. So it's a little bit smaller, but should, as you can see, this is a little deeper here than what you see with the Revel Barista Express. And because it's deeper, it can still contain about 18 grams because the basket is smaller, but deeper. So yep. cool. All right, let's make an Americano. Okay, prepare to make an Americano. Here you can see the uh, non-pressurized basket. Get it. So this is the one that didn't come with it, but you no. bought it online. This is yep. what came with it. And this is the single one, single shot. Okay, that's pressurized, but you have the non-pressurized, the modification. Yep. Cool. Now, we are going to turn on the scale, put on the funnel, so you get so zero. we get the zero and then you've got a nice canister there for coffee storage yes. so is that like an air escape one that one that has a single valve that releases yes, with the, for the carbon yeah for degassing, degassing. just go for 18. maybe since it's late at night maybe just 16 or 18 up to you That is nice. No it's spill. Not perfect. It's not perfect, but well, no, but it really helps with the spill. And then the if you've never done this before, if you don't have a funnel, you will have lots of this. And then when you click it, that's essentially then. Yes, it's calibrated to the exact weight pounds. every time. Cool. Oh, by the way, why are you using uh, the kettle instead of the, the water from the machine? I just like that because then once you use the machine, you've got to purge it, and I'm just used to. Okay. This thing heats up in 
less than 30 seconds, so cool. it's convenient. It's just, all right. And then once you're ready, you just put it in the cup. It actually fits. It fits perfectly. And since this is a double shot, you just hit, you know, the two yeah, cups. The double. And not a ton of noise. So it's it a, has pretty fusion in there. Yes. It's hard to see, but we'll see it when, uh, once it gets done brewing. So this is also preset essentially with um, how much water to go through it. Is it two to one? Like how yes. many grams? Yes, two to one. You can program it yourself by just holding the button and then once you're you know, ready to stop it, you just hit it again and it, it programs it. to that amount. So I'm assuming you have it to what, 35, 30? Something like that. Cool. But honestly, don't rely on time, just use if you're gonna, if you want to preset it, which I would recommend, use a scale underneath it to actually measure how many milliliters of water are coming out. Then you'll know. Okay, perfect. And cool. recommend doing that once in a while because these things do change. With the coffee. Yes. So there's yep. a shot. You can see it. Nice crema. Thank you. Yep, sorry. Nope. You're fine. Perfect. All right. So that is your americano. I like it. Can we try? Sure. Mm. That's good. I like it. And the beans I do like as well. Cool. Thank you. Well, guys, here is the DeLonghi Dedica, as we talked about it here. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than the Breville Barista Express you're used to seeing, but there are alternatives out there. And I think this machine is a little bit um, in the lower price range than the Breville and can make some uh, decent espresso. So Absolutely. If you're just starting in coffee, don't I wouldn't recommend you go for the most expensive one. Start small entry level like this one and then you can make your way up. Once you know this is what you like doing cuz there is a little bit of setup, you know, tamping, grinding. Once you but once it, it gets addicting, then you'll think of things <laughs> to do like, "Oh yeah, let's modify the wand. Let's buy something better." So. Well, the good thing is that you have a grinder, but you don't yep. have to have a grinder because no. If you use the basket that comes with it, the pressurized, you could use it without a grinder. You'd buy pre-ground coffee yes. and then uh, use that coffee, but you modified Freshness. it exactly so you've, you've bought that. Cool. Awesome. Thank you.